Agency OTA Strengths class today. My name is Da Wei Luo and people call me David. So today I'm going to go through the brief introduction of online travel agencies and their histories about it. Also, in this today's slash, uh, session, we will know how to manage OTAs. Also, some of the future trends that we will encounter, particularly in the COVID-19 situation. So, let's start it. All right, so uh, from the beginning, we should understand what are the OTAs. By definition, OTA stands for Online Travel Agencies. We, I'm sure most of you understand what travel agencies that are. Travel agencies are the ones that provide uh, travel services or products related to all the uh, under uh, below here you can see. But what's online travel agencies? Here it says online tr companies whose websites allow consumers to book various travel related service directly via internet. It sounds quite uh, complicated, but easier ones that you can understand. You can book hotels, you can book flights, tickets, you can book trips, uh, transportations, or vacation packages online via your internet. So this trend actually started from uh, early, late 90s. So we will introduce some of the uh, famous or the global OTAs uh, below that you will help you to understand more. Okay, here's the world leading OTAs. So we can see there are many, many OTAs in the world. But rather than those small ones, today we're going to focus on the few big ones or like the giants of OTAs that in the, in the, in the world. We start from Booking Holdings. Booking Holdings is actually one of the largest uh, OTAs or organizations in the world, the travel platform, as well as the Expedia Group. These are the companies that they are more like a rivalry or say they're competitors to each other, particularly they are both based in the US. For Citrip, this is a Chinese-based company that started from 1999. We'll get into the histories later. And TripAdvisor is one of the largest review platform and also uh, OT slash OTAs in the world right now. So they not only provide the reviews, but also have the hotels or flights that you can book via their uh, platform. We'll demonstrate some of the functions later. Hostel World is also one of the uh, OTAs that provide service of hostel or uh, bunk beds more, or shared dormitories. So their branding are actually a little bit different. I'm putting Hostel World right next to Airbnb because I'm sure most of you understand Airbnb provides home services or like rental homes. Back in the days, like probably early 20s, people are using Craigslist or a Lonely Planet or they go on internet to ask people to change their house to rent or like couch surfing. But right now you don't need that because Airbnb provides such services in the from the 2007. Webjet.com.au is one of the largest flat flight uh, booking platform in Australia. And they provide not just the flights, but also the hotels, uh, packages or car rentals. It's now more a package or say a one-stop service for all the platforms. Kaluk, I'm not sure everybody is will understand this, but Kaluk is one of the newest or say the most the latest package tour uh, platform in Asia and it's quite going viral right now. So I'm sure if you are in Asia or somewhere in APAC, you need to understand what Kaluk can do in the future. All right, let's go to the history of each platforms. Let's start from Booking Holdings. Booking Holdings is actually the largest OTA or say the travel platform online at this at this era. 
they start from Booking.com. Booking.com was established in 1996 in Netherlands, or you can call it the Hollands. They were largest before most of the OTAs, but there's a Priceline group that in North America. So Booking.com was actually merged by Priceline. So with the Booking.com and also the Priceline, they become the largest because they are spread it in booking.com in Europe and priceline.com in North America. So as time goes by, you can see they have many brands under this. So at 2018, they changed their priceline group into booking holdings. They also merged several companies under their wings, including Agoda. I'm sure Agoda is the most well-known uh, platform in Asia, particularly in Taiwan where we're from, or say probably in Thailand as well. Kayak is a rather new brand in Taiwan that is meta search brand for flights. Also under their wings, they have a hotels combined that's a meta search for, ho uh, for hotels. And rental cars is the car rental services that they also combine different companies that you can search for uh, the cars that you want in uh, one stop. Open table is actually for dining reservations or say restaurants reservations. It's not yet implemented in Asia as far as I know, but in US or in other uh, Western countries, there have been quite a long time that people are using to make their reservations. Okay, so this is Booking Holdings. They were renamed at uh, 2018, which is only two years ago. Yeah, so they are changing from Priceline to Booking Holdings because Booking takes about 70% of their overall revenues. So this is their trademark right now. All right, so since we mentioned Booking.com, I'm sure Expedia Group is the other brand that you must know. And I'm sure you already know some of them, but not probably all of them. Coincidentally, in 2018, Expedia Group also changed their names. They were called Expedia Inc. But now it's called Expedia Group. You can see the logo here. It looks a bit like internet or say the IE I know, but this is Expedia Group's uh, logo right now. So they have several brands consist of this group. They are Expedia, Hotels.com, and Agencia, that's for uh, company travel. Trivago, I'm sure everybody can see Trivago's uh, commercial on TV quite often everywhere. Home Away, this is more like a, a house rental or say like Airbnb style. So they are uh, rent your own house or your home or your rooms to others. Orbits, Travelocity, Hotwire, What If, and can go on. I'm going to mention some of the important ones here to let you understand what do they do or how they uh, value or or how they weight in Expedia Group. Starting from Expedia, you can see there's a flight. Actually, Expedia started in 1996 by Microsoft. Yes the Bill Gates Microsoft. So it was part of the company of Microsoft. So they are also based in Seattle. You can see their logo, there's a flight. Yeah, they started with the flights booking itself, not the hotel. But right now they provide more services. And Expedia stands out because they have a GDS system connected to all the uh, major airline companies in the world. So at their websites or at their OTAs, you can book the tickets directly on them and it's mapped through GDS to the airline company. So you can find the exact flight or say the exact route on Expedia to the other uh, airline company as well. Hotels.com actually started from Asia and they were bought by Expedia as well. So for Hotels.com, uh, their unique selling point is that you buy 10 nights and you get one free. 
So wherever you book, you book through Hotels.com and they will accumulate it, all the room nights together. And you will put uh, as an extra night as a free. And it's a average value of the twin t total 10 room nights that you book. So this is their unique selling points uh, among the markets. Egencia is a rather brand new uh, brand or it's a platform belongs to Expedia. Is that because this is mainly focused on uh, corporate travels. Say if you're an Apple company, the Apple, the, the one who makes the iPhone. So you're going to on a business travel. You don't have to go to these B2C or uh, these websites to book directly because with Egencia, it's more like a B2B. So your company or say Apple company has a contract with Egencia, then you are the employee, you just have to go on to uh, the websites and book and you will have the ledger to uh, settle the payment with the company. So you don't have to pay anything and you can uh, do your travel through this. So it actually combined the functions of hotels.com with the hotel, also the package as well, or on the Expedia for the flights. So it's combined together. Trivago, I'm sure a lot of you seen the Trivago uh, commercial, whether on TV or on internet. So it's a meta search platform that gather all the information for hotels, where I say the OTA is that you can book hotel rooms. Home Away is a new idea, and it's also bought by Expedia in 2017, I think. So it's also a platform you can rent your house, your rooms to others. And uh, this is part of the Expedia group, so they will share the allotments all together. So it's uh, very similar to Airbnb or Agoda Homes, but this is a rather new ideas in Asia. And what if is actually one of the largest OTAs in uh, Australia and New Zealand, but they were bought by Expedia from 2014. So it's also part of the Expedia group right now. So many of you may be wondering how can hotels or suppliers manage so many platform at one time. You have Expedia with hotels, you have hotels.com with hotel rooms, Travelocity, Hotwire, or say uh, vacations, ebookers. It's actually all the systems was merged to Expedia's platform. So all you have to monitor your allotment through Expedia.com's uh, extra net called Expedia Partner Central or Partner Central at this moment. Okay, then we move on to Ctrip. Ctrip is actually a Chinese-based company. So you can see there are Chinese characters with dolphin here. It's actually quite cute. But not only just Ctrip. They have also bought many trip, uh, other brands like Trip.com, Tujia, and also part of the share with Skyscanner. And Easy Travel is based in Taiwan. And Chuna.com. This is just part of the big companies that we are uh, more familiar with. They also have local travel agencies that belongs to their company. But right now, what really stands out is that ever since Sea Trip was established in 1999, and they become one of the largest uh, player in China, China market, there was another brand called Elon. And they were also part of the Expedia group, but Elon cannot compete with Sea Trip. So now Sea Trip is the largest. By 2017, they also bought Trip.com. It's a US-based company and they have merged all their technologies into Ctrip. Trip.com is now used for international markets. So whether Ctrip or Trip.com, they are the same company right now, but in Chinese uh, market, people are using Ctrip, but they all, of course they want to expand to an international market. Trip.com become one of their largest, or say the most dominant brand for them in the market as well. Tujia is also like a BNB or say the home sharing platform. And uh, it's also one of the largest platform in China. 
So Citra Bar are more based on hotels. Tuja are more like um, BNBs and home sharings. So they serve different purposes, like other uh, major OTAs, they all have different brands under it and to target different customers. Skyscanner is actually one of the most useful or is a convenient platform to book flights. So it's a meta search for flight tickets. You can go on to Skyscanner and you once you type the places you want to go, you can check from maybe from Taipei to say Los Angeles. It will send out all the information for tickets that display on all the internet, on the OTAs or say the airline companies. So it's very easy to use. And also mm -hmm. it tells you uh, where to go and how much is the, or when is the best time to go, when is cheaper and how much is the tickets range in between. Easy Travel, I bring this up because it's a, a Taiwanese brand that they were um, shared, they were bought by Citra. But at the earlier times, say the early 20s when I was a student, Easy Travel was one of the promising company that we all want to work for. So I, I need to bring it up because for the history's sake. And China is actually also another platform in China. All right, and let's come to Airbnb. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Airbnb, particularly now it's like a, say a hipster's choice. It's not just a regular hotel. It's more like how you bound to people or how you work or how you understand the locals are. So at Airbnb, they were founded in two, 2007. They provide accommodations or like I mentioned earlier, you used to go to Craigslist or you go to a Lonely Planet to find out where can we stay or say we can do the couch serving or exchange rooms from each other. But right now you don't do it because they provide unique stays of accommodations. It could be from your house, could be one of your rooms, it could be like a tent here, it could be a camping site. Right now, most exciting ones for me that you can actually stay at the yard as well. So it provides different kind of stays that allow people or say the hosts to use this platform to go through uh, uh, to the internet or to everyone in the world that they want to come to stay. And in 2016, not just the accommodations, but they also provide the, the experiences. So Airbnb is rather than accommodations right now, but they do experience. I'm sure that for uh, for their core value, they want to let the travelers to understand not just the place to stay, but also there are many, many things that can be experienced, like activities, like shows, like uh, how you cook or say how you uh, meet your friends or meet someone who share your interests with. So these are the uh, platforms that helps you to get to know locals more or to experience something that you don't have in your country. So there's a video that we can have a look. Okay, 
So we see that rather than accommodations, they also do the experience. There are a lot of experiences that I think we can go through and it looks very exciting as well. Okay, Kaluk. Kaluk, like I mentioned, it's going viral in APAC. You can see them everywhere, but not just APAC, in, in US, in Europe as well, because they work with the local uh, tour providers. So this is a new platform lately, I say in within 10 years or less, they are gone really quick. Right now, they not only do have the things to do with the tour, but they also are going on hotels, food and dining. Also, they sell a lot of tickets. If you're in Taiwan, that they will, I'm sure you can buy the one one tickets, observatory, one one observatory tickets via them, and they probably have the best rates that you can get. And for Wi-Fi and SIM card, I'm sure this is the must uh, have when you travel to everywhere right now. So it's another platform provides all the travel services or products that you could book online. So Kaluk is something that you want to look out with because right now they were funded by Japanese company or Japanese fund and they're going uh, really good right now. So these are the platform you can check with. Okay.